we're joined by UNISA's Department of Mathematics Education, Selo Machacha, to discuss innovative ways to teach mathematics. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure, uh, Jerusha. So, for example, you believe that the human body can be used to interpret mathematical questions and find solutions. Yeah, we, 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 we understand that most of the learners, they do understand concept mostly when there is a demonstration. Uh, let's look at uh, the, 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 the wrestling guys. When, when they demonstrate in the ring, you find that they, they, they lift up their, feet, their fist or their arms. Well, the, the way I lift my arm, you can see that the arm is going up like this. Now I'm talking about the exponential function. Exponential function is curving like this. And when it curves like this, it, uh, is the, it shows that uh, the graph is starting from uh, the negative uh, x-axis to the positive x-axis, meaning that when we count numbers, we count numbers from left to, to right, and it goes up like this. And when they demonstrate in the ring, they raise hands like this. Raising hands like this, it shows that they, they, they reflect. It means that the left hand is the reflection of the right hand. So when we demonstrate it like this, we want to, to make it easier for them. We bring it to life. We don't just uh, work with a, a chalk, a duster, and, tisque, uh, and, and maybe yeah, and a tisque and, and, and other stuff. But what we do is we demonstrate it to them so that it might be easier for them to remember. Because they, they, are do, they do these things on a daily basis when they play. Why is it important to teach mathematics in a compelling and interesting way like this? Yeah, uh, teaching mathematics in this way, we know that most of the learners, or most of the people, they, they shy away from mathematics because they say mathematics is difficult, whereas mathematics is, difficult, is not difficult. There are some other things that, are, that affect this uh, uh, learning disability. So we are trying to, to alleviate those disabilities so that uh, most of the people can tend to, to do mathematics without any fear. Uh, again, what we are trying to do is we want to develop interest in them for them to pursue the field of mathematics. You can see that even the, the statistics itself is, uh, is confirming that the number of people who are doing mathematics are more, more fewer as compared to other fields. So we, we, we try to make, to, to develop some intervention strategies whereby teachers maybe can use uh, different resources. That is why I used my body to, to demonstrate the, 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 the concept of uh, exponential functions and logarithmic functions so that learners can, can, can realize that it doesn't mean that when we talk about math mathematics, we're talking about something abstract. This thing can bring it to life. We are doing these things on daily basis. We see these things on daily basis. We touch these things on daily basis. So we want them to, to, to develop life so that they can be able to, to, to understand and open their minds. Because if you, you don't open your mind, you can't do anything. Because life is driven by our, 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 our mind. When, whenever you say something is difficult, that's a particular thing that's going to be difficult for you. So what we are, we are trying to do, we want to transform people's minds so that they can look at mathematics in a positive way.